And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a color splash effect in Adobe Lightroom. How easy or how hard it is depends on the image that we're using. Let us start under edit. And let me go to light and give it an auto adjustment. We'll just add that. But the most important step is to go to color and afterwards open the color mixer. And in this case we want to have a red dress and everything else should be black and white. So we leave the red color as it is and we'll go down with all the other colors. So just decrease the saturation for each color channel and the color mixer has desaturated everything but the dress. But you can see there was a little bit of an orange of an orange tone in it. So we need to go back there as well. But at first I'll adjust the red a little bit. And you can see the more saturation I give back with the orange channel, the more you've got colors in the background and on the skin. So we need to work on this one by using the brush. Just create a new brushing, make sure auto mask is selected. Use your mouse wheel to adjust the size and cycle through the overlays by clicking the O letter. You can also right click and cycle through them. So now we can see the overlay that I'm painting here. We need it in the background and on the skin. As long as the plus sign is in the middle of the circle, you'll add stuff to the brushing and that's what we want to have. You don't have to take care of the edges when it comes to the face and the background, but we need to take care of the edges when we've got the red dress and the skin or the background and the skin. So that's why we've got the auto mask activated. And if you paint over the edges, just hold Alt and you've got the minus sign in your circle and you can get rid of stuff from your brushing. I'm going to speed this video up a little bit as it's just a little bit of brushing here. All right, that's fine. Now press the O letter to cycle through the overlays again until they're hidden, just like this. Then go down with the saturation. You can see it has helped, but there are still some areas where we need to paint over again. Just make sure that you're on the same brushing, so this little brush icon on the right side in the menu should be still activated. And you can see if I paint over it with the left click, the saturation is increased or the desaturation in this case. You can see that right here with the feed very clearly. So as I've said, depending on the image that you're using, you need to put in more time or less time. Sometimes it's enough to just use the color mixer under the edit and you've got your color splash done. And especially when you've got red and orange tones and you've got skin, you need to put in a little bit more work. All right, and that's how you can create this color splash effect in Adobe Lightroom. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.